So I decided to bring in all of the ingredients to make the hoagies here to the office, and I'm just gonna make the sandwiches here. This also allows me to make some for the other company that works here. Uh, the girls are always making food, you know, and giving us leftovers or extras, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll feed themselves and then whatever's left over, like, hey, you want one of these? Hey, you want one of these? Constantly, so I'm like, it's only fair. Plus I, you know, it makes me feel good. Like, hey, I'm gonna bring all this down here, make sandwiches for everybody, so. I've got about 40 minutes before I'm gonna to have to go shopping, so let's get to make sandwiches. Austin and I just did our shopping, the bulk of our shopping for tomorrow. Uh, we have a, a customer that ours that runs like um, carnivals and festival events. This is his big busy season. So like every weekend, you know, he'll give us an order. And sometimes it's just like, hey, I need like six cases of potatoes, four cases of oil. Today, tomorrow, he needs like 16 cases of potatoes, but then he needs 12 cases of French fries and six cases of sweet potato fries and all these other things, like a huge, huge order. So big that it won't actually fit on the truck with the other orders. So there's gonna be a dedicated truck just for him. Uh, it's kind of crazy. But yeah, we got the bulk of it done. Three carts at one store and two carts at the other. So Sierra's car needs new brake shoes. They're really bad. I don't know how long she's been driving around like that, but uh, I, I noticed them a couple days ago. She noticed them a couple days ago, pointed them out to me. They're bad. Uh, she said they got worse yesterday. I drove them yesterday. They're terrible. I told her not to drive her car anymore. So uh, I just dropped off them at the brake shop. They're taking a look at them. They're gonna give me a call when um, they know they diagnose it. Like it's just brake pads or new rotors, that sort of thing. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna grab some early dinner because I'm by myself until Bryce comes and picks me up. This is a machete with Al Pastor. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was free. I thought it was free. I never looked at the subscription terms. Like, so I just made an account for free and I was like, oh, I can study for this. But I just ran out of views and now I got to spend 30 bucks. So uh, just picked up Sierra's car. Unfortunately, her rotors need, did need to re be replaced. They went too long, too far with the, with the brake pads being worn out. Um, sucks but it's it's a lesson you gotta learn i learned myself i, I let my my gmc sierra go too far and I had to replace my rotors once upon a time as well um so she had to pay for the the parts the labor and uh unfortunately her car didn't come with a you know one of those uh key locks to unlock the lug nuts so they had to take those off which you know that's another labor piece you had to pay for but anyway expensive lesson to learn but it's her lesson to learn so she uh she's paid for all that and now she's got peace of mind that her got brand new brakes and brand new rotors and for the the remaining months that she has this car because she plans on replacing it sometime this year so yeah there's your update sorry it's a short one today um everyone loved the sandwiches the hoagies in fact two people said it was the best sandwich they've ever had I'll roll my eyes on that one. Like, okay, if you think this is the best sandwich you've ever had, then you are sandwich deprived. You need to get out and, and eat more than just Subway. <laughs> but I take, I appreciate the compliments. Uh, but yeah, everyone loved the sandwiches. They're like, dude, you can make those anytime. So, um, you know, they're they're on the more on the more expensive side of a sandwich to make the prosciutto, the capricola, um, you know. But nevertheless, it's my favorite sandwich, personally. And so, like, whenever I go to a sandwich shop, you know, Italian is, is kind of what I lean towards. Um, next to a Cuban. A Cuban sandwich is, like, right the next, is, number, is close to number, number two. But Italians are, like, so, anyway. Uh, yeah, I made sandwiches for everybody. Everyone loved them. And then um, there was a couple, I ran out of cheese. So, I've learned that I need to, like, a pound of provolone is not the same as a pound of, like, salami or, you know, whatever. It's, the, the cheese is thick. 
the cuts are thick, so I need to cut it thinner so it lasts a little bit longer because I ran out of cheese, but I still have a bunch of meat left over. So I bought another thing of provolone, um, and uh, now I can make, continue making sandwiches. So I'll bring I'll bring the, the leftovers home, and I'll make some sandwiches uh, this weekend. So looking forward to that. Even though we did the bulk of our shopping today, uh, tomorrow's gonna be a very busy day, uh, just because we have the most amount of drops, most amount of customers uh, deliveries on Fridays. So um, it should be uh, another another busy one. I'm trying to be better at um, you know, just remembering to pull my phone out and capture moments just to just to bring you through my day. Like today, I, I didn't do a great job of that. You know, I got a couple of clips when my brother and I were shopping, but then again, it was like sandwich to shopping, shopping to, you know, Sierra's car, and then <laughs> and then that was it. Um, hung out with Tiffany. Um, I, I obviously I ate dinner early, so I didn't eat with her, but I sat with her while she ate, and we, you know, caught up and chatted, went for a small... Uh, actually, no, we didn't go for a walk. She went for a walk. Um, I was putting orders in. And then uh, hit the couch, watch some YouTube videos, and then going to bed. So, uh, like I said, relatively short one today. But uh, the weekend is coming up, and the weekend is going to be awesome. We've got an action packed one. So, the vlog should be girthy. And I know you like them girthy. So, stay tuned for that. Check back tomorrow. Vlog on.